What's up guys and ladies? I know it's been a long time since I posted a new video, but I have been fairly busy with things, school and everything. But in the meantime, I have been working on something fairly useful. Well, I think it's useful, but that's my main reason of making this video. I just wanted to get some feedback from you guys, what you guys think. I've been working on like this script based on PHP, which uh, is a lot of tools that I'm creating or that I'm coding. And these tools would just allow some of the average people uh, to find out useful information, such as I, I receive a lot of questions and I see a lot of questions about how many solar panels or how many batteries do I need to actually power something for 24 seven or how many evergreen solar cells do I need to provide the amount of watts that I want. And I just wanted to provide some type of useful script that you can actually go online and input the amount of watts that your, your device uses and just receive all this useful information. So what I came up with here is you can go to solartechtown.com and up here click on solar tools and this directs you to the scripts that I have been working on. Right now it is in beta so keep that in mind there might be some mistakes such as some grammar mistakes some of the states and things may not be uh, spell correctly but just let me know comment below the video and just let me know that and I try to change that as soon as possible but again here you can see these three scripts that I've written out of these three this first one here is taking the longest amount of time to do and I'll show you why in a minute but uh, it's fairly straightforward and that, that was my purpose I wanted to make it very simple to uh, use and here for this first one determine the amount of solar panels and batteries needed to run your device continuously again that's a popular question that I see around the net and here again it's straightforward enter, to enter the amount of watts your device consumes so let's say we want to power our laptop for 24 7 and we know that our laptop uses uh, let's say 50 watts so just enter 50 here you don't have to type 50 watts or anything other than the actual number so just type in 50 there and then for the second step just choose how many volts your battery produces so the average person is probably going to go with a 12 volt car battery so you can just leave this option selected as 12 volt battery and then the location this is the part here which took the longest amount of time to code because each location receives a different amount of solar energy or direct sunlight I should say so again this is uh sorted by the state so if you live in california you're going to be in this drop down list if you live in tennessee you're going to be in this drop box and as you can see i don't have all the cities uh, listed here so again if you don't see your city here uh again request it by just commenting in the the box below this video and i'll try to see if i can receive some data on that and add it in here as soon as possible for those who don't see their country here, as you can see, I'm just working on the United States at the moment. Since I am from the United States, I just wanted to start with that first. Uh, I will try to add that in the future if I do see that a lot of people find this useful. Again, that's why I'm making this video to see if I need to put more time into this as everything works the way I want it to. But before I add on more features, add on more data that you can receive by inputting the amount of watts that you uh, your device consumes. I just want to see again if you guys like this idea. So after we select our battery again uh, we can select our location which is very critical and you'll see why in a minute. So we click on this calculate button and below here is the information that you can receive. Sacramento, California receives approximately 2.7 hours of direct sunlight and your solar array tilt should be 38.5 degrees latitude. And this here, this array tilt, just suggests a tilt for your solar array so that you receive, again, what is saying the most amount of uh, solar energy for the year. So, again, this value is going to be different from for different people depending on the location that you're at. And again, this 2.7 hours of direct sunlight is going to be different depending on your location. And the next line is what most people want to know is the amount of watts you need to produce daily is 667 watts. And the amount of amp hours your batteries need to produce are 750 amp hours. So as you can see, it's a lot of watts to power something uh, that produces, I mean, power something that needs about 50 watts to actually run correctly. So 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to input the same value here, 50, and change the location to somewhere that probably receives a little bit more sunlight than Sacramento, California. Let's say it's, uh, California, San Diego. Click on Calculate. Keep this number in mind, 2.7 hours, which is not a lot. And let's keep this watts in, in mind here, which is a lot of watts. going to cost you a lot of money to produce that amount of watts. And here, click on the Calculate button. We update it with the new information. For Sac San Diego, California, uh, they receive 4.6 hours of direct sunlight. And here for the watts, you can see you only need 391 watts if you live in San Diego, San Diego, California. So location is very critical, as you can see. And again, that's why it took me so long to actually code this one script here, as each location is different. So in a way, moving on, hopefully that is straightforward. And if it's not, again, comment, let me know. That's what this video is for, just for is just feedback. So here, determine the amount of evergreen solar cells needed to give you the amount of watts you want. Again, this should be a straightforward question as well. Uh, let's say, okay, we're going to go with this San Diego number here. And we see that we need 391 watts. So let's say we, we're going to build our own solar array. And I really probably wouldn't do this. I'll probably just go out and buy a professional one if I'm going to spend that amount of money for a solar array. But let's just say we're just going to build our own. Click on this Calculate button here and let the page re reload. And to produce 391 watts, you're going to need 223 evergreen solar cells, which on average is going to cost $626. So as you can see, that's gonna cost a pretty. It's gonna be a, a pretty penny to uh, pay for that. So this includes shipping. Again, I just based this off a popular seller that sells these evergreen solar cells on eBay, and here's a link to them. I'm not affiliated with them or anything, so I don't get anything if you click on this. But I just want to again, this is really just to help you guys. Uh, once you receive this information, you click on this link, buy your solar cells, and you're off. You can do whatever you want to. So hopefully that is useful. And here, another straightforward script that I made, uh, determine how long you can use a device off a battery. And again, I just uh, received a lot of questions about this as well. This one is just going to tell you um, how long, again, you can run a device. It's going to drain the battery drain the battery fully, so you won't have any more power um, after you run your device. But again, let me just show you how it works. Let's say our device uses 50 watts and our battery, we're just going to go with that 12 volt car battery again. And the amount of amp hours our battery produces, uh, usually you can find this on the battery itself. It should have it listed. So let's just say our 12 volt car battery has 115 amp hours. Click on this calculate button. And as you can see, you can run your HP laptop for 22 hours for the battery is just fully drained. So again, these are just three little scripts that I made. I want to say little because this one here really took a lot of time to do, but uh, these are just three little scripts I thought were useful just to start off with. Again, if you can think of any more tools that I should add, let me know. Let me know. Just let me know what you think about this whole concept about these solar tools and everything. So again, I just need feedback on this before I actually uh, spend any more time on it and rate, subscribe. Again, let me know what you think. If your state and country is not here, let me know. Just comment, and I'll try to add that in as soon as possible. For other countries, it's going to be a little long. It's probably going to be maybe another month or two, depending on the feedback that I get if I add another section here for another country or whatnot. So, so again, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time with an update video on these solar tools.